I think everyone's counting Jan out, and everyone's kind of just like dismissing him, like, oh, you know, that's it. He's gonna get slept, or he's gonna get this. Um, I think they're mistaken. I take him very seriously. I, you know, and he says, oh, Polish power, Polish power, oh, legendary. Everyone has power, you know. I just don't want to get touched by anyone. Same with Paulo. I didn't get touched by him once, not once. And he's a lot faster than homeboy. So, um, same shit, different night. Same shit, different fight. Um, just get ready for, to beat another dude. And we just, uh, we just prep for that guy. We don't, I didn't really do anything like everyone thinks you're going to get muscly, put on some size, whatever, none of that. It's same shit, different fight. Yeah, definitely you feel a difference in power when some glancing shots or when they hit you or hit your arm. But also you feel the difference in speed. They're a lot slower. They're a lot more... They take a little while to, to get to their target, put it that way. And yeah, the pace is a lot different at that weight. And it's fun for me. I can still make 185 if I have to. Mark my words, if, even if I want to prove a point like Tony, I'm not stupid like that though. But yeah, I could still make 185 if I want to, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to eat clean fight week. I'm still going to jump in the sauna fight week. I'll just be able to drink water in the sauna, that's all. But I just, I'm not going to differ from anything I normally do. I'm going to keep the same energy, keep the same routine. Just so my, my brain knows what we're doing. I like, remember when Connor fought Nate on the first time, I think it was like six days notice, and then, you know, steaks for breakfast, dinner, you know, and he wasn't used to that. So same thing, I'm just gonna keep the same routine, keep the same energy. That's pretty much it, to make more money, but also just legacy, that's one thing. It's just like doing shit that most men in the UFC, let alone in the world, haven't done, and doing it, you know, while I'm in my prime, while I'm active, while I'm gunning for everyone, so, yeah. But like again, Cheddar makes it better. What is anyone? I always have Carlos as one of my sparring partners. Um, yeah, so like I said, same shit, different fight. You haven't seen me on the ground yet. I mean, I just got my purple belt, you know, courtesy of Ante Caval, the Atos in San Diego, the headquarters. Um, and while I was there for five weeks, I can tell you, they can tell you my jiu-jitsu went, oh, went all the way up. So. I look forward to using my grappling at some point. I do want to choke someone out, but they just keep getting knocked out, so striking. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a deceptive thing. I'm like, right, if you want to jump in the pit, in the hole in my game, you want to see how deep that hole goes, and be my guest. By the time it's too late, they find out it's a trap, and they can't get out. A lot of gold from African, you know, from Africans, from Africa, but it's good to bring it back to Africa. So yeah, when, when Francis does the same thing, I think it'd be dope to, just to cement that, just to cement that. But yeah, no, nah, I'm just focused on this. Because if I have too much thought into the war, you know, then I, I, I take my thoughts, my focus away from this. So I'm just focused on this right now. I'm expecting Jan to be very confident about his size advantage. And, and through that confidence in his size advantage and that, um, uh, through that confidence, through that physicality, that he's going to be able to bring. I expect him to be very aggressive, more aggressive than any of his previous opponents, Israel's previous opponents. Um, and I expect him to come forward and really try and close that gap and make a really big effort and perhaps even be prepared to test himself, test himself, test his uh, ability to take what Israel can give him, to get inside and get close to Israel and start um, either grappling or landing some punches. I expect him to test himself more than Israel's previous opponents have been willing to. And he's going to do that because I believe he just thinks he's a bigger, a much more bigger and physical man. Mm. He's just going to have a reach and uh, a height advantage in this fight, but he's definitely going to be the smaller man. So, um, look, we're, we're definitely going to stick to what we're good at. We're going to stick to all they're good at, but there could be a few surprises that we throw in there. <laughs> we could, there could be a few surprises. Um, there could be a few surprises that we've had lined up for someone that is willing to risk the biscuit, that someone that is willing to come forward ultra aggressively, that we've practiced since day one, since we fought, this is how these UFC fighters, opponents would react. There's some stuff there that we've just never been able to use, because at the end of the day, Everybody comes up against Israel, they feel his power a little bit, 
and it makes them very apprehensive to um, commit to their game plan of coming forward and rushing forward. Um, so there's some stuff there that we've been working on for years that um, we hope to pull out of the hat if Yarn puts himself in a vulnerable position. Shoulder rotation. Shoulder rotation. See? I think Yarn's going to be the guy. Polo Costa took the big game up and didn't end, did, ended up doing relatively nothing. Um, look, I believe Yarn's going to be the guy who's... Uh, you know, I think that Polish heart and that Polish determination is going to drive him to stick to his game plan and be aggressive. It is his charisma and his popularity, but it's, it's, you know, like I don't, let me be honest, like most of the people that swing those odds don't know what they're talking about. That has something to do with it. And that's not how we're, that's not how we're approaching it. Um, I believe we're the underdog as far as, as far as I can say and that's the way I've always talked to Israel about it and that's the way the team is approaching it we are definitely the underdog we're a smaller human being coming up to fight a much bigger human being there's a lot of adversity to get to, to, to overcome there how can we how, like, how can we possibly be in an advantage in that situation um, of course um, yeah, of course, there's a school of thought that thinks the skill, the skill-wise, and certain other, um, you know, certain other, skill, certain other like physical attributes, we believe we have a bit of a breach, a bit of endurance. But for the most part, yeah, we're we're coming up. Like we're we're treating ourselves as underdogs. Like, yeah, you ask anybody in fighting, they don't want to fight someone who's way bigger than them. No. For Israel to, first of all get to the point where he's put himself in a position to even have this opportunity is absolutely amazing and a historic feat in itself. When he wins it, it is gonna, he is going to occupy uh, some, some space there um, that only the very, very greatest uh, fighters on this planet occupy. There's only a very s small, uh, astute list of people that have won two titles in two different weight divisions and he will become a part of that and he will etch that into history forever. And um, to 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 think about that and to think about that 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 you know that could possibly get achieved is like mind blowing. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. A couple more hard workouts and then we're in fight week and then once we're in fight week, we're good, we're chilling, we're relaxing until the fight and then all the hard work's done except for that last 25 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know. Maybe they are afraid of him. I don't know. I'm not afraid of him. You know, we will see, you know, because maybe they don't find the way how to beat him. And I'm going to be the first one. And after our fight, he's going to be 20 and 1. <laughs> you just have to you know, watch the fight. You just have to watch the fight in March 6th. And uh, you're going to see uh, the way how to beat the Israel Adesanya. I see KO in second round, left high kick on his head. This is what I see. <laughs>